How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you the ReX Comp compressor in Reaper. Let's open it up right over here. I'll right click, go to this folder, and choose ReX Comp. This is the multiband compressor that comes with Reaper. Now, if you're not familiar with compressors, I suggest watching my compressor video first. The ReComp one, as I'm not going to be going over the basics of a compressor. How a multiband compressor differs is it's multiband. In other words, it's many different compressors compressing different bands and then combining it later. So by default, it opens up with four bands. Low frequency, low mid frequency, high mid frequency, and high frequency. But we can adjust it to taste. We could delete a few bands. We could delete all but one. And then it's just a regular compressor, or we could add as many as we want right here. And the more bands, the more separate frequencies we're compressing. Let's go back to our default, and let's start off with just three bands. So I'll take this band here and delete it. Now we can move the bands around, or the frequencies, either from up here. Or down here, we could adjust the top frequency. So in band three, it's set to 24 kilohertz. We could bring it down here. Go to band two, it's set to three kilohertz. We could adjust it here. But notice the bands overlap. So there's no space in between the bands. So it's always compressing all the frequencies. Although we can bring down the top, and then everything above here will not be compressed which is good if you're using for a de-esser. Let's delete one of the bands, bypass the first band right here, and now just the second band is being used. We could adjust it just for S's in this range right here, and create a de-esser that only compresses certain frequencies. But for the most part, multiband compressors are used on a stereo mix, even though they can be used to solve problems, like a de-esser, or for vocals too nasally, we could set this to upper mid range and just compress those frequencies. But in this video, I'm gonna concentrate on what we use it for the most. So let's go back to the default preset. Let's delete one of the bands. So it's a three band. So we have low end, mid range, and high end. Now before I start playing the sound, I want to show you the metering, as the metering in this plugin is very extensive, which makes it very useful as a mastering plugin. And to make it easier to see, let's delete all the bands except for one. So now it's just a regular compressor, but check out the metering. 17. We see two meters at the beginning. The first meter is an RMS meter, more of an average level. And the second meter to the right is a peak meter. A couple of bucks. His guitar in the bed of so notice it reacts a bit more. He was scared, but so alive. With a hundred reasons. For if we pull the threshold down, but he couldn't see none of that. We see a yellow meter right in here. The stars in his That's showing us how much gain reduction is happening. But we also have Alabama boy. this blue meter right here. For the lights and noise. The city limits showing us how much makeup gain is being added. On this band right now, by default, auto makeup gain is turned on, so that's why we see it. If we turned it off, we don't see the meter, and we're just going to see it if we raise this, higher or lower. But we can still adjust this. Even if auto makeup gain is turned on. One last breath, his face went pale. So it's boosting by this much, but we can still adjust that afterwards. So auto makeup gain, which is on by default, tries to keep the frequencies equal to what's being reduced. So the level shouldn't change as we bring the threshold down. Where if we turn this off, we'll hear a difference in level as you bring the threshold down. I usually leave it on 
as we can always control it with this gain afterwards. So we can balance out each frequency. And all these settings are separate for each band. So there's a separate threshold, ratio, knee, attack and release, and the RMS. Let me show you how the RMS works. Let's put our threshold back to zero. And if I hit play, 17. the peak meter is more active. Back to dreams and all this stuff. But we can adjust the RMS meter to the left using this fader right here. If we move it to the left to zero milliseconds, they look the same. Bring it more to the right, and it's more relaxed. It's more average. So that could also be adjusted on each band. Again, making it very flexible as a mastering tool. One other thing to note is if you want to set each band to be the same, just start out by deleting them. Set the first band how you want it, like the knee could be up here, the attack over here, the release here, and this here. And then you can add your bands then. And then each band has the same setting to start with. So if you know you want to set each band the same, this is a good way to start. Let's delete them all though. Put them back to our defaults by double clicking. And I should also mention that each band has a program dependent release as an option, which makes it sound a little smoother as the release time is going to change based on the incoming sound or program. So if it's a faster song, the release is going to react a bit differently. Let's start with it off, but at some points I'm going to turn it back on so you can hear the difference. Let's set our ratio to 2 to 1 to start. That's pretty subtle, but for this type of approach, as a multiband, we want to start off pretty subtle. Now one of the big features of a multiband compressor is that you don't hear the pumping and breathing of a one band compressor. Because each frequency is compressing differently, we're not going to hear that sucking in or pumping effect of a typical compressor. So it sounds a lot smoother, but it evens out our frequencies a lot better. So our top end and our low end, and even the mid range, will be more even throughout the song. Which is why it's so popular as a mastering compressor. So let's add a few more bands. Again, they're going to duplicate what we started off with. Two to one, Auto makeup gain turned on, and the attack and release at default. And let's move these over here. Now, if you don't want to look at all this stuff down here, we could turn off the tabs and just adjust it this way. Let's put this all the way up. But I like to leave it on so I can see what's going on. But we can adjust a few things in both places, like our threshold or the frequency. Let's put this back for now. Now the best way to hear the frequencies and adjust the bandwidth or what frequencies we're compressing is using this option down here, Solo Current Band. If we choose this, we're only going to hear that band at one time. So we can choose the bass and we'll just hear that, or the mid-range, or the top end. Let's turn this off first and let's hear the song we're going to be working on. 17, you waited long enough. Back to dreams and all this stuff Headed north up 65 Nothing more than a couple of bucks His guitar in the bed of his truck He was scared but so alive Now let's start off with the low end. We'll choose this one and we'll solo it. And then we can adjust this to just feature that low end. That's a pretty good spot there, at about 250 hertz. This will feature just that low end, and it'll control it to give it more polished sound. Now let's check at the top end. Small town Alabama boy, headed for the lights and noise, the city limit signs of anywhere. That's set to about 5 kilohertz, which is really going to control the prettiness of the sound. And then finally, let's hear the mid-range. Small town Alabama boy, headed for the lights and noise. 
the city limit signs of anywhere. And again, this will control the mid-range. Now, if you notice, the frequencies overlap. So if we adjust this side or this side, it affects band one and band three. So they're all related to each other. Now let's heal it all together and slowly bring down the threshold. Turn this off. Small town Alabama boy Headed for the lights and noise The city limit signs Of anywhere Anywhere Stones throw from the interstate He fell asleep and sealed his fate when he crossed two yellow lines Red lights flashed, sirens wailed One last breath, his face went pale Notice how much more polished or finished that sounds as each frequency is being controlled separately so we don't hear the pumping but they're still being very controlled and we can adjust the level of each using the gain on each band as ghost rolls into the sky I drifted round to the settle down In a boarding house near the edge of town Cause that's the way the wind was blown he Told his mama he was gone he Even sent his body home But he says he's not going Now let's hear it with the program dependent release. We have to do this for each band. Now keep in mind, each band is being compressed exactly the same way. But we have the flexibility of doing it completely different. Compressing the low end a lot harder, or the top end harder, as each band has their own set of parameters. But with this kind of stuff, I try not to get too crazy with it. But let's hear what the program dependent release sounds like. Anyway. Anywhere Well, we shared that room when I came to town Sometimes I'd hear him rattling around Little noises in the dark Late at night when I'd sing my songs I swear I could hear him singing right along And playing his guitar Now this setting is a bit too much. I'm compressing about 15 dB, but you can hear how controlled it sounds and how useful this type of compressor can be. Let's try it a bit more subtle. We'll put the ratio back to two. This way it's not compressing so harshly. And we'll bring up the threshold as well. Anywhere. Anywhere. Scared but so alive With a hundred reasons for turning back But he couldn't see none of that Through the stars in his eyes Small town Alabama boy Headed for the lights and noise The city limit signs Of anywhere Anywhere Stones throw from the interstate He fell asleep and sealed his fate When he crossed two yellow lines 
Notice how weak it sounds in bypass. Red lights flashed, sirens wailed, one last breath, his face went pale. It sounds a lot more finished or controlled with the turn back on. So anyway, this is the Rex Comp compressor in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.